Right, hello viewers. Today we are staying local, so we're off to a place called Chapel on the Frith, which is not too far from here, to a lovely little cafe called The Pug and Pudding. It does some fabulous food, so we're going to do a little bit of a review, have a look around, and um, see what it's like. Don't forget, click and subscribe if you like the channel, and, and we're off. Let's go. If you like the channel, let's go. So here we are in Chapel on the Frith, as you can see across the road there is the Pug and Pudding. So we're going to pop in, like I said, and have some lunch and uh, see what the food's like.
Right, okay, so uh, we're in the bug and pudding now. So, uh, I'm gonna choose what I'm gonna have for my lunch, so take a good look at the menu whilst I, uh, I decide. Right, yes, could I have the um, the ginger chilli beef burrito? Um, and I'll just take some uh, naked fries, please. That's it, thank you. Yeah, lovely, thank you. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Lovely. Right. Um, can I have some vinegar, please? Yeah. And salt as well, please. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I ordered the uh, ginger chili beef uh, burrito. Um, just take a look at this. It's got rice in there, really nice and of chili, not too overpowering. Beef is really subtle and the burrito is just cooked to perfection. Anyway, let me carry on. We'll um, do a bit more later. Right, okay, I've got to say, that was absolutely amazing. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about it after this. And uh, I've got to say, fabulous food.
Right, okay, so I'm here with Anthony, the owner, and um, he's going to tell you a little bit about how he got to the name of the uh, Pug and Pudding. So, um, I think when we were first opening up and trying to <coughs> look at, or trying to pick a name, we went through a long, big variety of names, um, as you do, um, and we had a venue we were going to open elsewhere, that was going to be a little bar, and we were going to put the pug into that somewhere, because we've obviously always had pugs. Um, and we had lots of pieces of paper, we scribbles all over names that we couldn't, and we're trying to find one that can kind of either show the, the different, the, the crossover between the cakes and the food that we do was quite difficult. Yeah. And we happened to like pug was sat at our feet and we happened to look down and my wife just said, oh look at, look at Eddie's rack, right? fat little pug, and put it into it. And that was it, so we went, ah, pug and pudding, what a great name. Yeah. It's a great name, it's a real catchy name, and I think that stands out for the kit for when you walk past any name that's got a bit of a ring to it, people just want to be interested in coming. I think it's great because we, um, obviously we used to name for the logo, we got his pictured onto the t-shirts and for the sign and everything else, so unfortunately he passed away in February, so, but it's great now because when we posted he passed away, the amount of comments we got from people saying, yeah, but how many pubs have got to the shop named after him. Well, exactly, so, and it's a nice memory as well, yeah, so it's something to it remember. And it was great as well because we didn't purposely begin it because then my wife was a pub here, um, so she knew the theme she could do, but equally it's, um, not necessarily purposely done, we then generate a lot of traffic and a lot of social media traffic and custom from the pub bit. Um, so we do get people travelling from, from different places, far and far and far, and the pubs, with pubs, pubs in and things like that. And, and, and that's fantastic. And, uh, of course, all of the dogs are welcome. Back. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thank you very much, Anthony. And you've got a great place here, and I've got to say, the food is amazing. I've just had the burrito there, and I'm going to tell them a bit more about it off camera, right. out of here. But, um, yeah, fabulous. So, uh, thank you very much, and um, I'll see you again, no doubt. Okay, let's uh, wrap things up there. So, lunch in the uh, Pug and Pudding, as you can see, the food uh, was really, really nice. So, um, as I said, I went for the uh, ginger chili beef um, burrito. I had a, a large portion of fries there. Um, also had a coffee as well. So, I'll just give you an idea of the prices. So, the latte, I had an extra shot. That was £3.10. The uh, burrito was £7.00. Uh, the uh, fries were £3.50. Um, so yeah, great value for money. Um, and Anthony, who we spoke to about how he came about the, the name for, for the cafe, which I thought was a great idea. The staff in there are really, really nice. Uh, always coming over, checking you're okay. Um, just really nice people. Um, so get yourself down the pug and pudding at the chapel on the frith. Let's keep these businesses, the local businesses going because let's face it, uh, everybody's finding it really difficult at the moment so until the next time in my next video i'll see you then don't forget to click and subscribe to the channel if you like it and i'll see you in the next one